As I mentioned in the last video, Hazrat Ali was the first male to enter the faith of Islam or to adopt the faith of Islam. And it turns out that actually he was, even though he was the first male, he was a child at the time. Uh, Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr was actually the first, the first adult, adult male to enter the faith of Islam. And Khatija, who was the, the first wife of the Prophet, was the first female to adopt the faith of Islam. Okay. Now in this video, I want to talk specifically about Hazrat Ali's loyalty to the Prophet, uh, peace be upon him. And I think to start with, it would make sense for me to talk about a very famous uh, anecdote regarding Hazrat Ali's level of loyalty. So a few years after receiving the first revelation, the Prophet actually received another revelation stating that he should warn his nearest kin. It was uh, Surah 26, Surah 26, Ayat uh, 214, and it said, Warn thy nearest kin. That was what, what it said. And upon receiving that particular revelation, what he did is he invited all the members of his clan over to a dinner. And after the members of his clan finished eating, he said to them, the Prophet said to them, he said, O sons of Abdul Muttalib, I know of no Arab who hath come to his people with a nobler message than mine. And keep in mind that uh, in this particular case, Abdul Muttalib was actually the grandfather. He was the grandfather of Prophet Muhammad, and, and he was actually Abdullah's father. Uh, and as such, because Prophet Muhammad and Hazrat Ali were first cousins, in fact, their fathers were siblings, uh, Abdul Muttalib was also the grandfather of Hazrat Ali. Okay? So the Prophet said, O sons of Abdul Muttalib, I know of no Arab who hath come to his people with a nobler message than mine. I bring you the best of this world and the next. God hath commanded me to call you unto him. Which of you then will help me in this and be my brother, my executor, and my successor amongst you? Okay. Now, all of the guests who were at this particular dinner, when they heard this, they stayed silent except for Hazrat Ali. And again, at that time, he was just a young boy. But he said, Hazrat Ali said, O Prophet of God, I will be thy helper in this. And so naturally, the Prophet was very pleased with Hazrat Ali's level of loyalty in this regard. And he put his hand on Ali's neck. And the Prophet then said, quote, This is my brother, my executor, and my successor, my successor amongst you. Hearken unto him and obey him. Now, keep in mind that Hazrat Ali was quite young at the time. And when the guests at that dinner or that feast really heard uh, the Prophet say what he did, they viewed that incident with a great deal of, of incredulity, with a great deal of skepticism. And after all, Ali was just a young boy at that time. It was hard to take such an exchange of words and such weighty language seriously. Um, over time, however, it became clear that Hazrat Ali possessed great intelligence and character and nobility. And so over time, people began to take that message much more seriously. Now, there's also another story that comes to mind when it, uh, trying to describe how Hazrat Ali was just so loyal to the Prophet. And this particular story took place in the year uh, 622 in the Common Era. And that was actually the year of what was known as the Hijra. The Hijra. And the Hijra basically was the Great uh, Migration. It was a migration going from, from Mecca, Mecca to uh, a place called Yathrib, and Yathrib today is known as Medina. Okay, Yathrib is known as Medina today. Now, in this particular migration, this is a famous pilgrimage that, that takes place, and in fact, uh, this very first pilgrimage, pilgrimage is particularly noteworthy because it marks the start of the Muslim calendar. So let me actually make a note of that. This actually marks the, uh, the commencement, the, the inception of the Muslim calendar. So this is the uh, start of the Islamic calendar. Okay, start of the Islamic calendar. Now, in this particular uh, hijra, this particular migration, uh, you know, it turned out that the Prophet had some enemies, and and this might not be too surprising. When the Prophet began to first preach to tenants of Islam, 
a number of people were against what he was saying. In part, it was because at that time he was preaching ideas that were perhaps quite progressive relative to the state of affairs of pre-Islamic Arabia. And not only that, uh, many people refused to believe that the Prophet was actually a messenger of God, as he had been claiming to be. And so, as a result of all this, he had many enemies, and these enemies had hatched a plan to assassinate him during this pilgrimage. Now, Prophet Muhammad and Hazrat Ali got wind of this plan. And what Hazrat Ali then did is he, is he did something quite brave. He actually put his own life on the line by sleeping in the Prophet's bed the night before they were supposed to go off on this migration. And in the meanwhile, the Prophet went ahead and he departed early. Okay, now, Hazrat Ali at that time, he, he slept in the Prophet's bed knowing that he might potentially be mistaken for the Prophet and mistakenly assassinated. Uh, or at the very least, he might have really upset the people who were enemies of the Prophet and they might have just killed him on purpose. And it turned out, though, that Hazrat Ali's gambit really was successful and he actually thwarted this assassination attempt on the Prophet. Uh, the Prophet's assailants decided not to kill Hazrat Ali. They were just so dumbfounded that the Prophet had escaped their, their grip. Okay, And the Hijra went off and it was successful in that regard. And in fact, when the Prophet Muhammad arrived at uh, Medina and, and when he was at Medina, he actually began to forge pacts of brotherhood among uh, two of the major parties. And, and these parties were the, the Al, the Al Muhajirun, Al Muhajirun, and, and this uh, this word stands for the the emigrants. Uh, these are the people who essentially went with the Prophet from Mecca to Yathrib or to Medina. Okay, they went on the Hijra with the Prophet, and uh, there was a pact between them, a brotherhood pact between the Al Mujahirun and the um, Al Ansar. Al Ansar and Al Ansar stands for helpers. Okay, the helpers were really the people who represented the tribes of Medina or Yathrib that had adopted the faith of Islam and basically were giving Muhammad asylum to some degree, really welcoming him to, to Medina. And while the Prophet was forging these brotherhood pacts, the Prophet basically said that he would adopt Hazrat Ali as his brother. And so during this time, he basically adopted, or he said he adopted, really kind of adopted in, in, in quotes here, adopted Ali as his brother. And I think just goes to show just how close the Prophet and Hazrat Ali were, how uh, critical Ali was to the, the spread of Islam. Okay, I hope you found a lot out of this video and I will continue making more videos on Hazrat Ali.